Joining us now are Robin Adams and Barton Adams. Hello. Hey, Hello. Donna. Hey, where are you guys calling in from today? Well, I'm calling in from Palm Bay, Florida, nice and sunny and warm and fun. <laughs> and I'm calling in from, from sunny, humid Brooklyn, New York, about 90 <laughs> minutes from the studio. So you guys have been working together for quite a long time, and then you founded a new network called Homage Land TV. Tell us what that's about. Well, Homage Land TV uh, came to me after one of my favorite DJs, uh, DJ Ruben Toro, and uh, he had a, a webcast of, of his DJ session. And it took me back to the, to the good old days, you know, when the music was just so great. And I said, a lot of people are looking for to be able to get back to the future, that great music of today and the sounds and the entertainment of yesteryear. So that's what made me come up with Homage Land because a lot of people were in the pandemic and they weren't able to really get out and, 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 and socialize. So it was looking for a way to bring people together where they can see great content and also take that content into the metaverse, which we're getting ready to head into very shortly. Excellent. Now, Robin, I know that uh, talking about content creation, you are well-versed in that. You're well-versed in music. What is your take on being a co-founder for Homage Land TV? Well, basically what I wanted to do was sort of take Barton's vision to a whole bunch of different levels. Um, as you know, Bart and I were involved in the uh, Williamsburg International Film Festival as an event, it's now just an online competition. And so going way back to 2010, um, Bart and I, and I have been involved with so many different filmmakers and content that they have. And when I created the Willie Fest channel in 2014, um, I populated it with a lot of series and shorts and features from filmmakers from the festival who said, yeah, sure you could use it. And then, um, you know, Footprint Network grew and it sort of lived there. So one of the things that we all know is that content is key and king, especially when it's original. And starting a new network, you know, right out the gate, you kind of can't start with just oxygen and uh, water. You need content. So a lot of content that I had, I said, you know what? Some of it is like, goes back at least 10 years and then some older stuff and, and sort of in between kind of stuff. And I said, well, I think we could do this because we already have a, a, a bunch of content um, that filmmakers have let us use for the Willie Fest channel. And then we want to get into creating more original content because that's really what people want to see. Otherwise, you know, they can see stuff that they've seen other places, other places. So I said, well, let's do it, but let's expand it beyond music and let's, Let's really look at everything. Let's look at, you know, films, maybe features, documentaries, and then some short series, maybe four or five episodic type things. And because we've been friends for a long time, so that's why I said, okay, I'm in too, you know, like let's put Homage <laughs> Land TV with our, you know, cohesive, uh, joyful way of what we all work together. And I said, all right. So Barton has been a correspondent now on the show. We've been doing these homage land TV segments and some of the content will be living on binge TV. So that's super exciting. Mm -hmm. So Drake media network yeah. powered by binge. So it'll have my show and it's going to have a lot of your content. It's going to have homage land TV on there. It's exciting. It's a great time. I believe to be you know, we were always there at the forefront of OTT, which means to the audience over the top. It's those channels and that content that's over the top of your regular television. And now it just seems like now, now it's happening. Now people are adopting it. There was the early adopters that that's how they wanted their content. Now it seems like everybody wants their content that way so that they can have it on their yeah. phone, on their computer, or on their smart TV device. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. And we thank you for that. Oh no, I think we you want guys to take for that. We want to take advantage of the new technology. You know, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, no one could do this. Um, you know, the big challenge with filmmakers and content producers, whether it's television series or documentaries is um, the two big things are either um, money and distribution. Some folks have money to create the content, but then they don't have any distribution. 
And then some people use YouTube, but they don't have any money to create, you know, really, really high end quality stuff. So we're in a position where um, because of our background in broadcast and network television, um, we've taken the stuff that we've created to very, very high production value levels. And now with these platforms, especially within Davo Media, who um, I think they power all of our stuff. <laughs> you know, Homage Land as well as Footprint Network, as well as Binge. And so and Davo really made it possible for us to be able to just create our own stuff, whether they're networks or channels. And we figured let's just take advantage of it because um, we know how to create stuff. We know how to create it really well and make it high quality. So now let's put it out there for the world to see. I remember meeting Paul Ham, and it's exciting now that we're all kind of working on this together, no matter where we are in the country, we all have one common goal, and that's to bring quality content to our audiences. So it's exciting. I'm happy to be on this uh, journey with you guys. I truly am. And Robin, you have uh, one of the show guests that's going to be calling in shortly, right? Yes, her name is Jessie, and she created a show called um, Brooklyn Talks with Jessie. It sort of Excellent. spun out of she does a she does a podcast and she wanted to do something visual where she could just talk to random people. So I said, well, let's do a man on the street type thing. And so we went out and shot three episodes already. And then we're going to be working later this month on some more. Excellent. Well, Barton, as always, it was fun to, to visit with you and we're going to be uh, bringing Jesse yes, in. Yes. So Homage Land TV is the place to be. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Paying homage and shining light. Or is that <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Uh, Robin, stay with us and we'll be bringing in Jesse in just a second. And with us now is Jesse. Come on in, Jesse. Come to the phone. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Donna? Great. Thank you so much. So you have your own show now. Let's talk about that. You have done three episodes. And what is the premise behind your show? Um, so a few years ago, um, well, let me just start by just saying that I was born and raised in Haiti and I've lived in Brooklyn for over 20 years. And there's something that is so fascinated about Brooklyn to me. And I wanted to go around and ask people, like, what is it about Brooklyn that makes them want to stay? Or if they had moved out of Brooklyn and come back, like, what was it about Brooklyn? For me, it was just the diversity, the love, the community, um, and all the Caribbean people that you see and the food and the festivals. And I wanted to get someone else's perspective about it. So a few years ago, I met Robin and I remember talking to him. I said, you know, I just want to take a mic and go around and ask people, like, what do they think about Brooklyn? What is it about Brooklyn that they love? Like, what can we what can we do to make Brooklyn better? And just like that, a few weeks later, I was on the street with a mic and Robin so gracefully follow me and, and help me build this little thing that we're starting. And it's such a love, like it's my kid and I'm so excited. 
Well, congratulations to giving birth to your new child. Uh, you know, I couldn't think of a better uh, father to create with than Robin Adams. So Robin, what's your thought? What, what do you find joyful about working with Jesse and why you think this is going to be a hit? Well, you know, the man on the street format is nothing new to me. I've been doing it for so many years. I've been doing it with NBC, Japanese television, even with your show. And when we started Willie Fest, I created this thing called What's the Willie Fest? And we would just go around with a microphone and ask people. And what was so interesting and funny about it is the answers that we would get. So when Jesse wanted to do that type of thing, I said, that's easy. I said, we could probably shoot two or three episodes in a day because every person is going to be different. You know, every person is going to have a different answer. And it's, it's, it's you know, funny, some of the things that come out of people's mouths. Um, you know, and that's... <laughs> That's part of the fun. You never know what they're going to say. <laughs> and don't. because Jesse is, is a very good people person, um, she interacts very well. And, you know, her expressions are priceless because sometimes they say things and it's like, huh? And then just watching the look <laughs> on her face, followed by her infectious laugh. So it's a lot of fun to work on. Well, I, you know what, Jesse, I agree. I think that you have a very fun laugh, uh, very joyful, very spirited. And where could people, I know that you're going to be part of the Hamish Land TV uh, network, which is going to be powered uh, by Binge uh, and Indavo on the Drake Media Network. Uh, where else could people find you? Do you have like some Instagram or some socials that you'd like to uh, provide to the audience so we could follow your journey? Oh, yes. Um, so right now, I we do post um, things on TikTok or Instagram, which is Jesse Mesamores, um, M-E-S-A-M-O-U-R-S. -E I like to spell my last name because it's so hard um, to pronounce and spell. And also Home, Homeland, Homage TV. Excellent. Now, one of the things I want to ask you too, Jesse, before we wrap, and that is this, uh, is there any cuisine from Haiti that you just absolutely love? What is your go-to holiday dish that reminds you of Haiti? Oh my God. Oh my God. It has to be um, a plate that we call fritai. It's like tasters, but it's like fried, um, fried pork, fried plantain, Try anything. It's so bad for you, but it's so good at the same time. And let me not forget the piquis, which is like the spicy cabbage, um, tomatoes, onions mixed together. And but it's really spicy. That is one of my favorite dish that I probably crave every weekend with a nice beer, Prestige, which is the or <laughs> original beer from Haiti. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the suds, right? Um, I thank no. you both for being here. <laughs> and before we wrap up, Robin, is there anything else you'd like to add? I'd like to add that uh, we've got some very interesting, exciting, original stuff coming to Homage Land, um, probably this fall into maybe right before winter. So um, that stuff we'll be putting online and then select things we're going to bring over to the um, Homage Land on Drake Media Network channel. Excellent. I cannot wait. Super exciting. I'll see you guys both very soon. Because one thing I like to do too is I like to be out there, you know, dancing, doing some things. So if you would uh, be kind enough to have me as a guest on your show, Jesse, I will definitely make the trip out to Brooklyn to be there. Oh my God. I would love that. I would okay. so love that because I have so many questions for you <laughs> as a woman in the, in the business. I have so many questions and I am ready. I'm already uh, writing down my 500 questions. 500 questions. <laughs> <laughs> I will answer all of your questions and more. But instead of just doing that, I'd love to dance. So if you're a dancer, I'm a dancer, and I'll see you out there, okay? Oh, yeah. We're going to be on Absolutely. the dance floor. Okay. Bye, guys. Totally. Take care. And to <laughs> our audience at home, thank you so much, as always, for watching the Donna Drake Show. You know, I've been doing this for a long time, 15 years now, and I can't thank you enough for following my show and my brand. And it, we are, we're like one big extended family. So if you like my show, I'm pretty certain you're going to like all the other shows that we now have on Binge. Uh, so please go to bingenetworks.tv. You can download us on your phone, on your um just everywhere, actually, your computer, if you have a smart TV. I called my brother, Tony, who lives in Tega Case, South Carolina, and I said, Tony, do you have a smart TV? He's like, babe, everybody now has a smart TV. So if you have a smart TV, just download the Binge app. It's right there, and uh, it streams to you for free. Thanks for watching. I'm Donna Drake.